colleges keep you busy. And since you are busy throughout your coursework, you never get time to interact with the industry. But eventually, your course has to terminate, has to end, and your industry work has to start. But you don't know how to get started. I believe internship is the best way to get into the biotech industry, pharma industry, and get an insider view of how things work and what kind of jobs you can get. But the question is, how do you get those internships easily? And what are the types of internship? What are the criteria on which these internships happen? So let's try to figure this out for all of you. And to start with, this video is going to be super useful for all of you. If you are just passing out, you are still in your bachelor's or master's, or if you want to get inside the biotech industry. Now to start with, the internships can be divided on the basis of stipend. So there are four types of internship which you can get in the biotech or pharma sector. One, which is with stipend. The two, the second one, where there is no stipend. The third, where you have to pay to do the internship. And number four, where they don't tell you that they will pay you or they won't pay you. And finally, when you have been selected, they ask you to pay. And that's potentially a scam. So that's the fourth type. So these are the four types of internship you get. The fourth one is a scam. Please avoid that. If an internship looks like a job, during the selection process, if they're asking you money, but they're not giving you in writing, then you should avoid that. However, the first three types, it's perfectly fine. Either they pay you stipend, generally they pay around 10 to 20,000 rupees, or you pay them to get a work experience with them, or they don't pay you, neither you pay nor they pay, but yes, you get to work with them, like in IIC or stuff. So yes, these are the three types of valid internship you have. Now coming to the next aspect of internship. Now the internship can be either into the industry or into the government labs. So, for example, right now, if I, as I can see on Biotechnica's internship page, there is an internship in AIMS with stipend. So, yeah, it has got a stipend, but it is in AIMS, but AIMS is not industry. It is still a part of the academy or I would say uh, it's an educational institution or a hospital, right? So, basically, that's not industry. So, if you want to get into the industry, then these ideas will help you. However, it will help you in the government side also. But... Whether you adopt these ideas or not, one shortcut is go to Biotechnica's internship page. The link is given in the description. You have to go and register yourself on Biotechnica, become a member of Biotechnica so that we can inform you as soon as the internship opportunity comes. You should know one thing that as soon as the internship opportunity comes, everybody starts applying and those get full fast, right? Because they won't have 1,000 people to take. They will hardly take 5 to 10 people. So if a company can take more, not more than 10 people, then obviously the number of internship seats are less. So become a part of Biotechnica and then you can get all this internship information free of cost right in your WhatsApp, in your Telegram or through Biotechnica app. So now let's start with the 10 ideas which I have for you if you want the biotech internships faster. The first one will be creating and maintaining a good, vibrant LinkedIn profile with the right kind of keywords for yourself. Now that's a start. And then you do networking. You start working on all of this. You uh, reach out to people. You reach out to scientists. And then you volunteer to them. Say that, hey, I want to work with you. So how can I get a chance to work with you? I've done these, these these things. So that's the first thing. The second thing will be online platforms such as LinkedIn, Biotechnica, or job portals where you can get those internships. The third would be your own university. So you can reach out to your placement officer. If they, in case there is no placement officer, reach out to your HOD. Ask them if they have some connection in the industry. If they would introduce you to them so that you can do those internships. So that's the third idea. The fourth idea would be taking help of your seniors. So your seniors must have done internships somewhere. So obviously you can reach out to them, ask which company they did their internship and you can do that internship as well. So that's the fourth idea. The fifth idea would be keeping an eye on all the online job portals and applying early applying fast because most of the job portals they have a deadline to finish and the moment deadline is over you cannot apply so you have to follow that now the next idea which i have for you the seventh idea which i have for you is many a times for internship also you need a relevant experience right so you need to do some kind of certification course so certification becomes a precursor to internship internship becomes a precursor to the job that's what you you have to do you have to gain experience by doing some certification courses Followed by that, you should join some biotech 
club or society where they regularly post for example like i said biotechnicals community is there it's a vibrant community where other members also post and biotechnical also post and you can get now the last part is be always ready keep your application ready keep your email ready which you're going to send keep your cv ready which you're going to send and immediately apply as soon as you get to know about the internship like within 30 minutes you should apply because they will fast and after that they will not accept your application so the top 50 generally in any internship the top 50 candidates only are screened after that you are not screened now one shortcut like i told you is biotechnica so in biotechnica right now as i speak there are more than 15 internships which is posted the recent one is in aims then you have in nesac which is north eastern space space application center then you have in bis then you have in niti ayo then you have in uh, pfizer then you have in tifac which is tifac then you have in map my genome niper csir im tech nditl niti ayog equivia biotechnica and various other companies where these internships are available but remember by the time you will go click and apply these internships will be full then you have to wait for the next so what all if do is subscribe to biotechnica the link is biotechnica.org/subscribe and once you subscribe you will keep getting all these updates and if you have any specific question about any particular uh, company or any internship which you would like to do let me know in the comment section i will definitely try to make a video for that and help you thank you so much for watching see you soon in the next one till then keep shining bye bye